Hello, my friends, and welcome to Friday evening. It is drunk poker time. It's beer time. So we're closing in on the end of the year. Uh, I don't know if you've been following along, but uh, we've hit the point in the year where I release my Pokey Awards, which are just my favorite beers for the year. doesn't mean they're the best beers. They were my favorite beers. You have your own favorite beers. You can write about them yourself. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I take some flack for some of my picks, but I'm okay with that because, you know, I like to, to, to choose my favorites. I mean, I had over a 1,000 beers this year. So you tell me to pick, you know, I don't know, probably 300 IPAs. Pick your favorite IPA. It's hard. So I'm writing that tonight. I've got the outline. I know what beers are. I just got to put the post together. Before I do that, though, I'm going to have a beer. and I'm going to share it with you. So this is the latest release. They released, uh, Collective Arts releases Life in the Clouds, a hazy IPA uh, using Mosaic and Simcoe hops, two of my favorite hops. Can you have favorite hops? I think you can. Um, 6.1%. They released this as a collab beer earlier in the summer, uh, and it flew off the shelves, so... Nice of them to release this. This is their second Hazy IPA because we had the Hazy IPA the other week. Yep. Writing about IPAs is, is hard. Like, it's, I know, really tough to write about your favorite IPAs, but it is. Trying to pick, like, choose between one or two IPAs is, oh. It's like even picking my favorite IPA of the year was next to impossible. I, like, I really honestly, and I mean, if that's the worst problem in my life, I've got a pretty good life going there, right? I do live life in the clouds sometimes, but uh, yeah, so like picking my favorite, so I, I broke it down into pale ales, IPAs, imperial IPAs, and then black IPAs, and uh, whew, there's some interesting choices there, and I'm sure there will people think I'm a little crazy with some of them, but I like what I likes, you know, so let's get into this. Cheers to uh, Collective Arts, who, who, you know, I mean, with Ransack is one of my go-to beers, um, and I like that beer, I love that beer. I have one in the fridge right now, I might have it later on, but uh, cheers to Collective for always bringing us new stuff this year. A lot of peach, pineapple, grapefruit. Mm, yeah. Cheers. Mm, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's grapefruit. Peach. A lot of peach. Pineapple. And then like dank, resinous pine on the back. I say that a lot now, dank, resinous pine, and that's what it is, man, and we like that, and and that's, I think, you know, people, we, we talk about trends for next year, and we'll talk about that in the new year, too, but people say, oh, loggers, pilsners, and I, I don't disagree, I think you're going to see more loggers and pilsners, but the IPA ain't going nowhere, baby, N nowhere. I got friends who won't drink nothing but IPAs. And I don't blame them. I'm drinking nothing but IPAs tonight to celebrate the IPA post that comes out tomorrow. Um, I'll leave a link down below. You can go check out the posts that have already come in. But uh, look out for that. I mean, if you, you know, tell people your favorite beers. Why not? Well, it's fun, man. You know, take some of your pictures, smash them up in a, a mix together and say, these are my favorite beers from this year. And it, 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 people enjoy it. it. It sparks a conversation at the very least. And that's what I like to do. Being civil, like, you know, those beers you don't like and try and be civil about it. I mean, come on, guys. It's, it's still just beer. Okay, so look for this one. Head to Collective Arts, pick it up. It's a beautiful, beautiful beer. Um, yeah, like most of the men. I, you know, I get lost. I got lost in my IPAs. This is good. Now, that was my first sip of beer today, and it's like 8.30 again, so I got to stop drinking so late. Anyways, guys, go enjoy your Friday nights. I'll see you tomorrow for the penultimate day of the year, and who knows what we got then, because I don't even know. Cheers. I really do live life in the clouds, and it's friggin' beautiful up here.